Okay, we get rid of this. Testing, testing. Uh, okay, position this. Center. Yeah, whatever. Wow. Uh, that took forever. So, I last used OBS to broadcast to YouTube. I was like, oh, it's fine. OBS has all my settings saved, right? Nope. Deleted my the settings from my Twitch um, stream key or whatever. Oh, that's fine. I'll just go on Twitch and find it. Just been looking for ten fucking minutes. Or maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration. I don't know. Can't find it. I had to go on, like, Stack Overflow to find a community voted answer to find my stream key. Twitch. Why is your UI shit? Anyway, this is the last stream of this competition, I guess. So if I just try and remember what I'm doing, because I'm old. Uh, actually, I should probably open up Twitch on my phone so I can actually see the chat. Because Lord knows I have no idea how to pop up chat anymore since they've changed everything. Where even is Twitch on my phone? God, it's like totally invisible. Uh, Twitch? Okay, here it is. Uh, can't get in. Like, I'm straining myself just trying to figure this shit out. Okay, connecting. I haven't dropped any frames yet, but there's barely been any frames, so, okay. Uh, documents... I just need to go to the video games folder. I'm falling asleep right now, so that doesn't help as well. But, like, it doesn't take... Um... It doesn't take a genius to figure out Twitch's UI, is just fucking shit. <laughs> Uh, okay, 1064. Uh, oh, my computer's being slow. But at least uh, my, I can stream. What do you mean working on it? There's barely anything in this folder. So my computer's struggling. No. Performance. Well, I guess it's using 99% of my disk space just to stream. Because that's Windows 10 for you. So my 64 hacked. 2,000 subs, no, that's wrong folder. My 64 online, because this folder is where everything is. Okay, so project 64, uh, it's this green one. Okay, yeah, I edited, oh, no, wait, is it losing frames? No, it isn't. Yes, I did a bit of editing earlier, and I'm just uh, open up Mario first. Uh, okay. Um, recent on. Yeah, okay. Uh, hello. It's frozen. God damn it. Okay, okay. I'm gonna just I'll stick this in here, I suppose. And, uh... Okay, I guess my computer really can't handle OBS and loading things in the background at the same time. It's me, Mario! Okay, I'm just go over here and get rid of that. Hello! <coughs> So, yeah, I did a bit of editing earlier, I was thinking, oh boy, Rainbow Road, or Rainbow Ride or whatever, I know some stuff I can edit in there. I know what I'm going to edit, and then I realised, wait, I've already edited that level, it's Tiny Huge Island. So, without further ado, let's get into Tiny Huge Island. Now, let's get into Tiny Huge Jackman. So I, I thought of a, a few really good things to do. Um, since this is a, a second floor level, or technically first floor, because the foyer counts as the ground floor, and then this is the first floor, or second floor if you're American, um, this counts as a, um, <clears throat> levels on this floor have, I think it's two to three changes? So, maximum one thing transformed, maximum one thing moved. So, just to keep in mind... Wait, this is the wrong level. What am I doing? Let me just quickly pause. Twenty-four. 
Tool Tool Mountain. Why have I only gotten one star in that level? Um, uh, that's a bit strange. I, I don't need to go back there. Tick Tock Clock. One star in there as well. I don't think I need to go back to these levels. Yeah, Rainbow Ride. 14, 12. Yep. Of course, 13 is missing, which I'm assuming, since I, uh, <clears throat> I totally know this game. There's other uh, stuff. Just to make it easier, all the changes are done in the tiny island, which is that painting over there. But I'll be entering this painting because I'm lazy, I guess. Yep, so this is the last episode. I'll end up uploading all the videos to YouTube, why not? Feel free to submit your HTML table within the next, well, I want to say seven days, but I'll be uploading it to YouTube in double uploads. So when the last upload is done, that will be, well, the, the, the date from... Technically, when this video right here, which is being streamed on Twitch Live right now, ends up on YouTube, you have, like, seven days to send the HTML table. If there's any confusion, just panic and chat or something, I don't know. Okay. So, I'm gonna get the first star, and then get all the secrets. Oh man, the Gumba didn't see what was coming towards it, lol. Oh man, that Gumba's going crazy, jumping over the balls. Did I mention I'm tired? That's why my voice is tired. I've been watching a lot of anime recently. And by a lot of anime, I mean I watched like one episode of Dragon Ball Super. Like, fanboyed over, um, what was his name? I've already forgotten his name. Brian Drummond, I think it was, being in the latest episode. So, oh my god! Oh my god, it's the original Vegeta! Oh my god! Against... Oh, regular Vegeta! Oh my god, this is amazing! I was, I've been watching a bit of Card Captors, which I was convinced for the longest time was called Cap Card Captors Sakura. Turns out there are two dubs, and the dub I grew up with was the Canadian dub, even though I'm British. I guess that's what we go over here on C CITV and whatever else it is broadcast on. Which is, you know, great or whatever. But, um, yeah, that show was more magical when I was a kid because it meant so much to me, I guess. Even though I barely got to see it because it was only ever on CITV and, uh, I was more into Dragon Ball Z and other anime. So it was less of a priority. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> it's not like I didn't like it, it's just other things were more important to me. It's like the priority list, pecking order, whatever you want to call it. It's just how it ended up being, but it is a cute anime. I don't remember anything about the Madison character whatsoever. I remember Sakura, like, capturing these cards and this little flying toy-like thing that accompanied her. And she had some sort of staff that looked like a, a circle with a star in the middle, but yeah, there are a bunch of things that I completely forgot about that anime. I mean, it had been like 18 years since I last saw it. So, yeah. It's crazy what you can forget. Like, I, I, I was watching it online, um, like, yesterday. Because I was like, oh, I haven't seen Car Captain Sakura in a while, and there's a new, um... Oh, damn it! There's a new anime, like a reboot, like, that just came out today or yesterday or something. I want to say today, I mean, today is the 9th of January 2018, so make of that what you will, but whatever. I was like, you know what, I'll check out the original again. And immediately I was like, what the hell is this? Her voice is wrong. I don't remember this in, like, this, this, um, music. The title of the anime or whatever. And it turns out, yep, I was watching the Miramax dub. And the dub I grew up with was the Nalvana dub. Yeah, it's still a pretty cool, sweet magical anime. Oh, uh, what else are we watching? Um, a little bit of no game, no life. Still, um, internally crying that there's no season two. 
although new no game in the life zero did come out a little while ago and I still know don't know where, where to find it. Ah, uh, screw this. No! Mario, please! Please, Mario. Please. Okay. I take it nice and slow. Or I could just speed up it. Another reason I haven't been streaming as much, not necessarily the internet, although that is the biggest problem, but I swear one of my housemate Josh is awake and in the house he just looks around outside my fucking door. He's a creep. That's not the worst thing he's done. Like, one of my other housemates is having a shower and he's just listening to them the entire time because they're biologically female. I have no idea what's up with them. Why did that star up here? Can I take a moment to just look around? But yeah, I get so conscious about people listening to me, especially people who just like standing outside my door, shuffling around, breathing. Just not doing anything but listening to me, just like, can you fuck off? Sorry, I'm getting like, really passionate, but it doesn't matter. Really... I'll grab to go down here. Okay, could you die please? You're gonna be a problem. Okay, look at that chat, nobody's in chat yet. I guess it's turkey, fine. Oh god. Here we go. That's a really nerve working star, but it's because of the camera angles. It's like, no, it's bad controls. No, like, they lock the camera in places to have to challenge. It's probably a bad idea given platforming, but they're taking the gimmick of a free moving camera, which is something Nintendo were some of the first people to pioneer. Even though they had a little bit of help from Sony, apparently, to make the camera in Mario 64, but just kind of weird. But Maybe it was ex staff employees from Sony. I can't remember the story behind that was, but. You know, like, oh, it's just a gimmick, moving the camera around. It's not like that's ever going to catch on. <laughs> Wanting to move the camera, like, perfectly, rather than it be a challenge. Which is probably why the, the courtyard scene in Ocarina of Time is so awkward. <laughs> Maybe I'm just rambling bullshit. I don't know, man. So here it is. Super Mario 64, and no, this is not a pre-rendered demo, this is what you get when you play the game. <laughs> I wonder if she says. With its stunning 3D graphics. Right, I want to show you guys something. The quickest way to get onto that little island is to do this. Yeah. You literally hold the A button. Excuse me, Makatu. Makatu, please. You literally hold the A button when you bounce on one of those uh, fly guys to uh, like spin slower, and then you just pull in the direction of this island. <laughs> I like the idea of just flying around the island like you're a tiny little mosquito or something. Oh. Wait, I wonder if I can get this. Okay, I think I'm... S oh no, I haven't unlocked the cannon. No, where's the little guy? I guess I'll use the uh, Koopa to find the uh, pink balloon. The bomb. The bomb. I honestly don't remember where he is. Oh, God, that's too close. Oh god, no, what have I done? Yeah, I don't remember that little midget is. I guess it's not important. Bum, 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 bum,
Oh, what's that? Oh, you fell. Isn't it crazy? Like, there's a one-up box right here. Right? And... Oh, quite right there. When you go into the warp pipe here, the same island also contains a one-up box. But, like, it's very hard to get onto that little island. It's not even a place you'd necessarily consider going back to. I can show off. No, Mario, stop moving! Jesus, you're supposed to go in the pipe! Okay. Yeah. Oh my god, I barely made that. So yeah, there's a one-up thing here. But that's the only way to get to it. Because you can't really long jump from over there, because it's too far. And this fish will, like, try to eat you. So please, Mario, I'm so hungry, I'm starving. It's like a similar distance for this, but even you can't make that. Also, I have like a little theory about um, why coins sound different underwater. I wonder if it's like because in the beta, like Mario had a, a breath meter for when he was underwater. Maybe coins make different sound effects because it's indicating that it's replenishing his breath, taking priority, and then coins on the surface when Mario isn't underwater. Take priority over um, healing health. Maybe just a little theory. Just so much unused content. And um, unexplored ideas in the Mario 64 universe. I want this coin. That's what I want. And wake up. Like I wasn't even going. Excuse me, I want your shell. I don't want your shell. Okay, where's Lakatu? Oh, I've got the Maxi G. Come on! Ah, oh, you're not screwed. You're not twice in the corner. Oh, no. I would like to know where that pink bubble is. Oh, no, wait, whoa, whoa, no. Mario, please. Oh god, the camera's being all screwy. Down, I do not do that. Just... So coins, I need more coins. More coins. Please. Okay. Oh, for God's sake, that's just a shame. I have 64 now. Woohoo! Oh, butterflies. Oh no, it wasn't a one up. Excuse me, Liz. I need more. Okay, but I go over to that side. Because 100 coin star, why not, dude? Like, whoa. I suppose I could finish this series by going against Bowser. I only have two stars left to get anyway. Yeah, 69 coins for 69 um, years of gaming. I don't know. Yeah. This is an easy star, but I'll leave it for the time being. No, it's supposed to rebound. Mario, don't do, grab that. Okay, good. I was just, I wanted to rebound off that box, not freaking. Oh my god. So, is this again? I don't want to fall down into the void. 
Eh. Oh god, give me a hard time, Mario. Yeah, another easy five coins. Oh, butterflies. Huh. No, no, please, please. <laughs> well, there it goes. That's uh, not conspicuous at all. Somehow that crushed that gumbo. Okay, cool. Cool. It's pretty cool. Okay, pink bomb guy is missing. Oh, Alright, like a two, do your thing. Dumb shit. I don't even know what happened. Look, there's another like a two. He's filming me right now. He's making the Super Mario Brothers corner. Okay, you know. Here. Thank you, another one on. Wow, I have eight lives. Um, I just need to get into a warp pipe now, well, which I, I guess, um... No, I, I'm gonna... I don't want to go with that fish. So I'll just go up here, and then go for a warp pipe, and go enough far to go to stern. What happens to the star already freed? Are there any glitches that can only be done <gasps> Gumba. You know, I'd have enough coins right now if the other Gumba didn't turn into a yellow coin. Oh, what was that? Oh, I didn't even notice anything was uh, underneath me. Oh man, it broke my fall. Whatever it was. Felt like a cushion. Oh, what was that? Oh, I had no idea. Oh my god. Oh, what was that? 69. Aw, oh, yeah. Could do the endless stair glitch, but I can't be blind. Just blind my stair. Uh, Gumba, Gumbi, what are you doing? Please. Please, Gumbi. I should have been doing all the enemies are gone anyway, they won't reload. If they do, then more coins, yeah. But I don't think so. So does that mean it's star still out there? No, oh, it got put back in the box. That's interesting. Nice easy star right here. Seventy is all I need, and I've shown all I need to in that level. You found seventy power stars. The mystery of the endless stairs is solved, thanks to you. Solved? What do you mean? Like it was a puzzle someone else fixed? Solved, not like resolved. I don't know. Thanks to you. And is Bowser ever upset? Now on to the final bout. Boat? Boot? I don't know what that is. Is that time? Plays Mario 64 for what year is it? 11 years. Doesn't even know where upstairs is. Second floor. Yeah. I think I probably still try to do it. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, it'd literally just be like that for like 10-15 minutes if I tried to do the uh, infinite stair glitch or whatever. On to Bowser. This part is optional. If you want to stop watching right now and just go straight for the, um, the HTML table and write down all your answers for this competition, which has been going on for way too long, which was started two or three years too late, because I forget, then you can go ahead, or if you just want to watch me, like, wreck Bowser. Wreck him a new butthole, then, you know. That's totally fine too. Oh man, I'm so bad at this game. I just want more lives, you know. Okay. 
Okay. I won't be getting the red coins. If I do pick any up, it's just out of a habit, but I don't intend to get more. 12 lives. I think I can handle it. I don't even need 12 lives. One, maybe. That's hardcore. I wouldn't need any lives. But, you know, just be safe. Bowser 3 is kind of a like pain in the ass. Especially if you're using an original Nintendo 64 controller and you haven't um, uh, been using it for, well, used a Nintendo 64 controller for more than a week. It's funny because like after the, the first seven days, it's the most difficult thing to get to get like a hang of because it's constantly slipping out of your thumb. And then after those seven days, your thumb would be sore, and then I swear your thumb just heals. And then from that point on, using a Nintendo 64 controller is fine. I, I I just don't understand it. It just happens to everyone. And then you can go years about using a Nintendo 64 controller and go back to it, and it would just be fine again. I really don't understand the magic or sorcery behind that. I guess in a way that's kind of a bad thing. <laughs> it takes like that amount of time to get used to it in the first place, but you know. That's why people use like emulators. I don't recommend using the Wii U version of the game because there's a button delay I've been moaning about for ages. Which is probably why I haven't actually streamed that yet. Then again, I'd want to get a high definition capture card or something. Rather than using the um, the 480i output, whatever it is, that I use for my Mario Maker video. <laughs> wow, look at that lag. Now oh, done it. That's gonna hit, right? It's totally gonna hit. <laughs> okay. Oh, more! And just a complete trick shot. I don't know what Mary's gonna throw him before I let him go. Oh my god, oh, no, okay. Oh no, he's too close to the edge, oh my god. Bowser, please, do walk forward so you a bit more, please. Please, come over here. Okay, the nearest one, oh my god, really? I'm not gonna make it from here. Oh, it's too far forwards. Oh, I have a choice of two. Completely wrecked Bowser. And how much damage did he do to me? Zero. Look at that. Full health meter. Full health. Count it. Yeah. I don't even know if you can bring out the hub in this game or whatever. Oh, yeah. Did I mention Super Mario 64 Beta had a mini map that you could toggle on the screen? What? Is that still in the game? Please, somebody. I need somebody to fucking go deep in the game's code and find out for me. Or just post a video about it on my channel. I don't care. I want the world needs to know. <sighs> okay, well that was my um, competition live stream. Part 7, I think, or part 8. I forget by this point. Which is supposed to started in like 2013 or 2014 or something. It's now 2018. I started this in September hoping to have it done by October or whatever it was. And now we're in January. <laughs> this is why I don't like planning things. Maybe it's just too ambitious for me. Maybe I'm just in a bad place at the moment in life. Not depressed or anything, just uh... It's tiring having to constantly worry about a 
disruptive housemate. To the point where I have to keep everything in my room. And constantly fear about, you know, things getting taken and missing, or the, or the toilet getting covered in shit again, or the taps getting covered in shit. Just... I, I just want to move into another place and just start again. Give more time for me rather than worrying about things that probably don't even matter. But there's no properties there, I've been for a long time. Mario! Oh, the star! It's a star! It's a parcel! Oh, hang on a second. Do I cheese? Um. Oh, okay, never mind. And it's all thanks to you. Thank you, Mario. Toad's just staring blankly into space. <laughs> Don't worry, there's going to be no Mario exploding into coins or anything this time. I only have three cheat codes, and one of them is press F9 to give you 100 coins. <laughs> Listen, everybody. Let's bake a delicious cake. For Mario. Oh, Mario. She just, like, walks off with no legs. Mario! <sighs> Wait, do I even need to include this in the video? 